Hello YouTube, my name is Shifo and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about the Q3 earnings released by Nintendo. The numbers were insane. There were a huge number of sales of the Nintendo Switch and for Animal Crossing. Let's dive into it. In Q3, Nintendo has reported 3.8 billion of revenue with 1.4 billion of operating income. They had an operating margin of 35.7%. Last year, they reported 2.5 billion of revenue with 650 million of operating income. This huge increase year over year is all thanks to Animal Crossing. Let's look at some of these numbers. The highlight for the quarter is 40 million of sales for Animal Crossing, which is live to date 26.04 million sales. Second to that is Mario Galaxy at 28.9 million. This is the strength of Nintendo. Their first party sales are generating millions and millions of sales. Just to compare, the best selling first party titles of the PlayStation 4 are Uncharted at 50 million and Spider-Man at 13.2 million. Look at how big the gap is between the best selling first party titles of PlayStation 4 and Nintendo. It's insane! That's the reason why Nintendo does not make multiple titles for a console generation. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe released in 2017 and it's still their best selling game which sold 4.2 million copies last quarter. There are over 60 million Switches sold and 30 million of these are running Mario Kart. That is almost 50% of all Switch consoles. If you compare this to Spider-Man or Uncharted, this is in the range of 15-20% to of PlayStation 4 sold that are playing these games. Alright, I have to add that the third party software library of the Switch is pretty weak and the games you can buy on the Switch are mainly first party titles. This is the mode of Nintendo, which is strong library of IP, crowning them as the Disney of games. For the full year forecast, they have updated the revenue from 12 billion to 12.9 billion of revenue with an increase in the operating income of 4.1 billion which is 32%. This increase is mainly coming from the strong software sales during the first half of the financial year, which Nintendo was not expecting. Zooming out to the yearly sales trend of Nintendo, you can see that Nintendo is on their path back to greatness. Over here you can see that the yearly sales from 2009 until now 2020. And the Wii was a successful console with a peak of sales in 2008 and 2009. During the month of October it's actually reported that the amount of Switch consoles sold in the US is equal to the amount sold in 2009, which was the highest amount of Wii sold during one month. In the chart you can see that Nintendo was going through rough times when they released the Wii U which was a huge flop. And that with the release of the Nintendo Switch they are going back to greatness. This is also the risk that Nintendo is taking. Nintendo is a very innovative company that is making each console substantially different compared to the last one. They are always taking risk and this is showing the negative side of what happens when these risks are not paying off. What is amazing is that during these tough times, the former CEO Satoru Iwata actually took a 50% pay cut and the rest of the executives took a 20-30% to pay cut, so that they would not need to fire employees. Which gaming companies nowadays does this? To give you an example, Activision Blizzard is aggressively firing employees during bad times, while the executive management team is still receiving high bonus compensation. It's good to see that a company with such an amazing culture and passion is succeeding. Thank you for spending your time to watch my video and I hope you gained some value from it. If you happen to like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.